Electronic Sounds Audio, the YouTube channel for you. Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Dean from Electronic Sounds. Stick around. Today, we're going to be checking out the new Crystals effects app from Eventide Audio. It's a fantastic effect for creative sound design, and it's available for iPhone, for iPad, and also for desktop. Today, we're going to be checking it out on an iPad. Come on, let's get into this. Sorry about the extra clutter on my desk today. Usually I clear a whole bunch of stuff off and break the things down that I've been working on, but right now I'm working on a pretty serious drum and bass live set, so I kinda gotta leave some of these pieces set up. Today we're gonna be focusing on the Crystals amp on this iPad Pro, and just to show you here, we're running this through the Novation Audio Hub 2x4 audio interface, and that's getting audio to my big mixer over here, which is getting audio to my monitor speakers over here. Okay, let's jump in. So what is Crystals anyway, and what makes it so amazing for creative sound design? Well, what Crystals is, friends, is it's two reverse pitch shifters, it's two reverse delay units, and it's a reverb. If you're looking for like a typical reverb or a typical bread and butter type of delay sound, Crystals might not be your best first choice. But if you're looking for something to add layers, add textures, and add new sonic content and elements to your existing existing content and do some super creative sound design, Crystals is definitely something to look into. Let's check this out. I think one of the really neat things about Crystal is how it adds layers and textures to your existing sounds. Here in this groove, I started out with a little bit of a synth arpeggio from the Brambos Rusemaker Noir synth. We're going to play that here. And it's just a really clean, dry sound. But when I add the Eventide Crystals to that, we get a whole layer of sort of background stuff that's happening. And then when I add the perforator effect from Brambos and I set that to a sidechain pump preset, we sort of get that pumping effect. And I can dial in how much of the pumping effect I want by moving this first section of perforator here. If you want to go ahead and get yourself a really useful sidechain pump effect, go ahead and just pause the video here and you can copy the settings as I've got them shown here. And all you have to do to adjust how much of your sidechain pump is move this little button or, you know, slider right here. This next example features the brand new and free retro piano effect from Audio Kit Pro, and I definitely suggest picking that up. We're going to be running that through the Eventide Crystals effect, and I'm also using a little bit of a drum beat here that I've programmed on the Digistix Drummer app. Let me switch over to Direct Sound and show you what this sounds like. We'll start off with the piano clean, and then I'm going to push over the Eventide Crystals effect, and we'll hear just exactly what that's doing to the piano sound.
As I mentioned earlier, I'm currently working on a new drum and bass set, but I've also just released a drum and bass sample pack for the Electron Model Samples uh, drum machine sampler. And I've taken some of those uh, drum and bass drum sounds and I've imported those into the Digistix drummer app. I've taken a couple of the chord samples from that sample pack and I've loaded those into another instance of the Digistix uh, drummer app and I'm running the Eventide Crystals effect on those chords to really bring them to life. And what we're going to do do is I'm going to switch to direct audio, but I've got this set up to where I'm using the ribbon controller inside of crystals to make some adjustments here. And what I want you to listen for is how we're going to take the sort of drum and bass chords, sort of melodic pad section, and what we're going to do to them is we're going to move this ribbon controller and we're going to really bring some life. This is actually a preset that I uh, put together. I just called it drum and bass chords exciter. And as I move this ribbon, you know, you're going to see these pitch knobs and some of the reverb you know, move just a little bit. The dry wet's going to get a little bit more intense. And we're going to bring a little bit more intensity to this sound using that uh, ribbon controller. Let me switch to direct sound and we'll check this one out. I'd like to apologize for the lack of consistent content lately on my channel. Things have gone pretty sideways and I've been finding it quite a bit difficult to make positive and creative content for the channel. I've been really busy working though, in fact that's pretty much all I've been doing and what I've been spending most of my time on is putting together new sound banks for the Electron Model Samples uh, sampler and drum machine. Feel free to check out my website if you need some new sounds for your model samples, electronasounds.com. I'm going to try to keep going with some new content and thanks for your patience until then. Try to keep safe out there everyone. Thanks. I also really like what the flex button does to the sound. It kind of does exactly what it says. It sort of flexes the sound. Let me show you. I've got a preset that I've made in Roosemaker and War here. I'm going to switch to direct sound and we're going to flex this up. I'm really liking the combination of putting the crystals effect on these crazy Ruse Maker Noir presets. Let's try this one more time.
our last example today, I wanted to see what crystals would do to some really random and glitchy IDM kind of drum sounds. And so I've got two instances of Playbeat here playing some really odd and random kind of glitchy drum sounds. And we're going to go ahead and put crystals on both of these and add some layer and depth and texture to these already glitched out drums. Thank you. 